What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. This is my solar shed and it's time to redo it. For those of you who are new to my channel or uh, just haven't watched any videos on my solar panel system, this is my solar shed. Um, I have just over 600 watts worth of solar panels on the roof up there um, just because of space constraints. Um, this, this is my uh, shed in my backyard. I chose not to put solar panels on my roof of my house for various reasons. Anyway, uh, so this has been my system for the past couple of years. This is how I got started in solar. It's not the biggest system by any means, but it's, I've really learned a lot and I've done a lot of research and been able to kind of teach some of you guys and, and be taught by you guys. And so I, it's time to take some of those lessons that I've learned and some of the inefficiencies in my system make some corrections to it. So basically I'm going to be, and this is the battery bank. So I've got uh, four golf cart batteries in here and four kind of uh, RV marine deep cycle batteries. I was trying to go for a, uh, just real quickly on why I did that. I was trying to go for kind of a, a system that had a little bit of higher amp capabilities with also the deep uh, cycle abilities. Anyway, that's for another video, or, or I, I did cover that in another video. Anyways, what I'm going to be doing to get to the point of the video, I'm going to be taking everything out of this system except for the solar panels on the roof, they're staying, um, and we're going to be completely redoing this. New charge controller, new battery bank, um, getting rid of these, these load centers, replacing those. Um, you know, getting rid of some of this stuff. My automatic garden watering system left a little bit to be desired and how I had that set up. Uh, the lighting is fine, so the 12 volt lighting will stay. But uh, the main thing is, is redoing the battery bank, redoing the charge controller, and trying to increase the reliability. So we're gonna go with purpose-built uh, purpose renewable energy batteries, uh, Trojan T105RE batteries. Um, which will last a very long time and are specifically built for solar. Uh, these, these batteries I had in here, there's nothing wrong with them, just that, um, you know, over time I've, I've made a few mistakes and probably shortened their life. So as, as I always mention and, and advise people, you want to start out small, make those mistakes with cheaper components, and then upgrade in the future. That's, that's my personal philosophy anyway. Um, I have this... Uh, Pulse width modulation, uh, Morningstar controller. This thing's fabulous. It's done very, very well for me, and I'm keeping it to put on maybe another system. But I'm going to be upgrading to an MPPT controller for various reasons, which we'll cover in uh, another episode another time. This is going to be a multiple-part uh, video series. Um, I don't know how many yet, but uh, we're going to get into other things such as safety, um, with uh, with switches, bat, you know, and, and more uh, fuses and, and safety stuff for the, the battery bank. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more maybe about grounding, um, which is kind of a black art. Um, and then also I want to have, I want to be able to have uh, real-time monitoring via the web and certainly within my home network. So there's going to be a lot of cool things that you'll want to stay tuned for. This is just kind of the first video to kind of show you what I've been up against uh, for the last um, while. And we're going to clean this up, and hopefully it's interesting and educational for you guys. I'm going to take you through the whole ride. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.